Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with All Things Barbecue, and today we're making firecracker chicken lollipops. In honor of Independence Day, I want to bring you guys a recipe that has a little bang. And these firecracker chicken lollipops are going to be the perfect addition to your barbecue on the 4th of July. First thing I'm going to do is show you how to prepare these lollipops. You're going to take a chicken drumstick, and then right up here where the meat is meeting the bone and all those tendons are, going to cut straight down to the bone and work all the way around. Once you've got those separated, you can kind of push this bottom part down and begin to pull the top part up. Just get your finger under there and it's going to take a little bit of strength. Just strip all those tendons right off the bone. One other thing you might want to do is go ahead and flatten off the bottom. This will allow it to stand upright much easier. So just take a nice sharp knife, you level that out, and it stands up on its own. So we're gonna cook these guys standing upright. The other thing I wanna point out is this little bone right here that sticks upright. Now if you want to, you can dig down in there and pull that bone out like I've done back here. But you risk damaging the meat when you get in there, and I found that it really doesn't affect it much once it cooks down. Uh, you just have to know that that bone is there. Now we're calling these firecracker chicken lollipops because they do pack a little bang, a little bit of heat to them. And what we're going to be doing to season these today is using the Cattleman's Grill 8 Second Ride Carne Asada seasoning because it's got fantastic flavor and it's got some heat. But I do want to cut it with some sugar because this rub doesn't have any sugar in it and I want a little bit of sweetness. I'm going to be using a ratio of six parts rub to one part brown sugar. Now if you want it a little less spicy, you could do four to one or something like that. There will be more places for us to adjust the heat level throughout this recipe, but this is our jumping off point. I need a little binder for our rub, so I'm just gonna hit these with a touch of pan spray. And then we'll go in with our rub. I'm just seasoning all around the sides of these lollipops. And then any of the stuff that falls on the tray below, we'll use to season the bottom. All right, let's give these about five minutes for this rub to really attach itself and then we'll take them to the grill. We're grilling our chicken on a Yoder Smokers YS640 pellet grill today. I've got it loaded up with some cherry and pecan pellets and we're running at 325 degrees. Now you might be wondering why we're not smoking these. Well that chicken skin down at smoking temperatures 225, something like that, is never gonna get crispy on the outside. So we wanna be able to render the fat out of that skin so it has a really nice texture. At the same time, we do wanna add some smoke and we don't have a lot of time to do this because this is gonna take less than 45 minutes. So what we're gonna do is put some pellets into our amazing tube smoker and add a little extra smoke to the chamber so that in that short amount of time, we'll still get some smoky flavor on our chicken. Now a lot of folks like to wrap some foil around the bone so that it, the theory that it doesn't brown it up so much. Um, you know, I've done it both ways and I've found that in this period of cooking this shorter time, it really doesn't make a big difference. So I'm gonna leave the bones exposed while the chicken cooks. Our chicken's been on for about half an hour now and it's coming up to temp, they're around 150. We're gonna shoot for a finishing temperature on these at 170 today. But before we finish grilling them, we want to dip them in some glaze and allow that glaze to tack up on the grill. So we're going to mix that glaze up now. We're going to start with the uh, House of Q Rock and Red barbecue sauce. This is a little bit of a tangy, a little bit hot, not super hot, but uh, we are going to add some extra heat. Again, I want a little additional sweetness, so we're going to put three quarters of a cup of brown sugar in with this. And then just to thin it out a bit, about a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. Now 
Now this is where you get to decide just how hot you want to go. We're going to be adding some Grinders Death Nectar to our sauce today. And this stuff is probably the hottest sauce I've ever tasted. It's at 337,000 Scobles. So just a little pinch will go a long way. Now just this tiny bit that's coming off of the skewer is going to be enough to really heat this stuff up. Yeah. It's spicy. So one by one we'll just dip these in our glaze. I'm not going to dip the bone up here because I don't want it to be sticky when we go to pick it up to eat it later. Now these are all sitting at about 160 now, so I have a feeling about five, probably five to ten minutes, we're going to be completely done. We'll just close the lid up and let the sauce tack up. These are just such a great party food because, you know, you pick it up, you can eat it right off of there, you don't have a mess on your hands. And now that they've cooled off, let's see how they taste. Hmm, really great flavor right up front. And then there's the heat. That's got a little bite to it, but it's not blowing out my taste buds. I mean, you're still tasting everything. It's sweet, it's tangy, and then of course there's that really rich, supple, dark chicken meat. That's fantastic. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to thesauce.atbbq.com. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.